Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a very special video. It's going to be a little bit more low quality than I'm used to, but I wanted to show you how to film with a webcam in all of your conferences. I've been in a lot of them over the past month with coworkers, with family and friends, and people still don't know how to shoot in their video chats. So I'm going to show you today with this light outside and kind of show you the do's and don'ts of webcam. Now, this is actually a little bit better quality than a webcam in terms of the video you're seeing now, but it still should have the same issues that you will get with it. So let's go over it and let's go through the do's and don'ts of a webcam on a conference call. All right, so the first tip is we're gonna go over the visual, then we'll go over audio. Here's the main thing that I've been seeing a lot of with friends, family, coworkers, and that is the window. This doesn't look good. Keep in mind that this is actually a little bit better quality than some webcams out there, especially laptop webcams, which are a lot worse. But this is what I sometimes get. This is optimum horribleness. And that is, I cannot see you because I can see the outside. The outside's too bright. You do not want the camera to be facing a window. What you want is this beautiful shot. This is about, let's get two feet away from the window. And now I am just shooting myself and I get to see the beautiful window. I get to look at that beautiful window outside. And what this does is it makes it very easy for us to see the person who we're talking to. See, when you actually have the window uh, in the shot, it's always going to mess up the shot. Any window will mess up your shot unless you have the blinds all the way down. And even then, the little light that bleeds through is enough to mess it up. But if you're facing out the window, you get that beautiful shot and everything, and that is really perfect. Now, I will say this, a lot of people may not have their furniture set up this way. So you may not have a desk that is perfectly set right in front of your window. Maybe you can make a temporary one, maybe a, you know, a dinner tray table, something like that, a stand where you can put your laptop on just for your conference calls so we can actually see you. This is a very simple and easy way that will help you out a lot and it will definitely improve the overall quality from it. So this is simple and easy to do and something that will up your quality a lot visually. Now what about audio wise? Now you should notice the difference in the audio. Overall, what I did was instead of going from my phone's audio, I'm actually going to headphones. And this is really big because laptops especially have really crappy mics. Most of them are not gonna be good and if you're using your regular laptop one, it's not gonna go that well. If you have been lucky enough to get an external webcam, those do have mics built in that are much better. I have a lot of Shadok 922 and that has a really good mic. So I'm pretty much fine with that. But if you are using off a laptop mic, I would recommend getting some headphones, whether it be over the ear headphones, little headphones, whatever you can do, but it definitely goes a long way. If you want to, you can even get an external microphone. I don't think that's as necessary, but it's just a much better time to hear you. And the other thing is it should cancel out noise a little bit better than your laptop mic as well. Because with this, you're going to be able to actually move around more easily, talk to a person, and even if you go away for a little bit, you'll still be able to hear them. Say if kids came in the shot and you want to take care of them, well, you'll still be able to hear what's going on and you'll be able to talk to them. Obviously, you always want to make sure to see if you're on mute or not. That's another big thing, but this will help your audio quality a little much better if you are just going from your laptop microphone to external microphones are gonna be much better done with headphones. All right, I hope this helped you go from what you were doing and having this be your video to having better audio and better visual for all of your video chats. Let me know if this helped you out in the comment section down below. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, YouTube Tech Guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me.